Kingdom of Ireland, and through light and voice have these stones spoken to me. Markings of him, where a second voice, higher than most, spoke to me again. Listen to all I have learned through prayer. Quor, the offspring of gods who lived before the deluge. I pray for these rebel angels who came before. Firewood from firewood burns, flame kindles flame, and from man goes wisdom to man, and folly to folly. Bersila, his ghost will haunt us. There's no ghost. Danes don't have souls. This man is a Norse warrior, and his body deserves respect. Where is his axe? He cannot go to Valhalla without it. Hurry, ran off with it. Don't hurt us. We didn't mean anything. Please. I will not harm you. I just want to get this man's axe returned. Where's this boy gone? Over that way. He was playing with it. Slaying monsters. Show me. <laughs> you there, boy. Give me the axe before you hurt yourself. I am no mere boy. I am Hurry, slayer of monsters. You'll have to win it from me in single combat. With a warrior of your might, clearly it must be a battle to the death. If you fail me, tell my brother I love him. Wait! No! I'll give it back. Just... just no battle to the death. You show me mercy, Monster Slayer. Go. I will race you back to the Fallen Warrior. know not your name or your clan, you are a warrior of good stock. Odin welcomes you to his table in Valhalla. Amen. And one day, us warriors will join you, fighting monsters in eternal battle. I've locked myself out.
This is your house? I set my key down, only to watch it fall into the river. My name's Bron. Hi, Bron. Ah, a Dane. I have an object inside that you'd be interested in. The legendary horn of Ragnar Lothbrok. You have Ragnar's horn? How can you know it was his? You have me there, friend. I cannot be certain. It's a very old Dane horn. Help me into my house. You can judge for yourself. Hey! Can't do this alone. I am curious to see this horn. I hid it somewhere long ago. Forgive me, I can't recall just where. Help me search. <laughs> Look at that! That's no horn. Hmm. Let me have a look. Horn! Thief! You filthy Dane, get out of my house! This man told me the house was his. Have you any idea how important I am? I shall have you both flayed and hung from the city gates. Friend, it's all a simple misunderstanding. If you were deceived, Dane, you'll return my biblo and help me kill this villain. Here's your item. Bronn here is a liar and a thief. He deserves what he gets. No! God grab me, strength! Watch my lead! So much for him. You've helped me, Dane. I will not send you before the Magistrate for robbery. I trust you are grateful. <laughs> I regret only that I did not hear the battle song of Ragnar's horn. I spoke with him again. He said that he pined, and I feel torn in two. My loyalty to him tears me one direction, and the Nephilim point elsewhere. Why hath these voices spoken to me? Broke for me?
Hilde hace. Oh, starlight, my starlight. A swift death by a sharp sting separates us, both by lip and by heart. Whether by land or by sea, we never shall part. A fellow romantic soul. Perhaps you might be able to aid my plight. What ails you? A witch told me that one sting from the fuzzy little demon would steal my breath. But my love keeps bees. You cannot deliver your love letter because there are bees in the way. I could carry it for you. If you would do this kindness for Gil, then you must be a kindred spirit. Do you also enjoy the stamen and the petal? I enjoy much of many things. Oh, I had a feeling you would understand. I have painted my love in words in this letter. Let your romantic heart guide you. If I find this love of yours, I will deliver your feelings. I am sure your words will lead me to your heart's desire. Thank you. Oh, thank you, stranger. I shall call you Sunshine, for you broke through the clouds of my loneliness. The sweetness of the honey on the tongue, but the danger of being stung. The sweetness of the honey on the tongue, but the danger of being stung. It's like love, always a chance of losing. Starlight, starlight. Which of these keepers of the bees fits Gil's poems? The sweetness of the honey on the tongue, but the danger of being stung. It is always a chance of losing. Do you consider yourself a man who has features so uh, delicate that God himself must have uh, painted them on with a fine brush? Yes. Then I have a letter for you. Mm. Thank you. I have delivered the letter. Now to see if Gil has met his match. Quite the surprise. You've got a beautiful heart and mastery of verse, but I do not return your feelings, Gil. But Serle fancies you. I understand if you do not want his company. He isn't very handsome. He does? The lad with the hair of bracken and smoldering gaze? Serle, you say. I must compose another letter. Sorry, Gil. Looks like you'll have to face your love yourself. Best of luck.
What is it you want? Who are you? Poison! I need to get out of here! I'll kill you for that! Have you nothing to say? Your baby is coming. Where is the nearest healer? I will take you. No need for a healer, love. Just get to the top of that hill. I can do the rest. What? All the way to the top? And you intend to go alone in your state? Yes! Ah! Oh, roll my fat corpse up this hill if need be! It is too far to carry you like this without hurting your babe. I shall have to take you by horse. Ah, uh, you need not help me, but... Who am I to look a gift Dane in the mouth? It is dishonorable to leave a pregnant woman to the elements. Why does the baby's father not come to you? My father is a god. Mockers of the wood saw me on solstice and wooed me with his song. You laid down with a god. Picked up our trail. Hold on. You laid down with a guard. Aye, is that so shocking? Mary grew Christ from the touch of God. I heard of a Dane god who laid down with a horse. Loki, and he was also a horse at the time. You didn't get mounted by a horse guard, did you? No, it was very much a man. A godly man, definitely not a mortal. We made it to the shrine. Do you think the other wealthy father will be able to find us? I wasn't impregnated by a god, just an ordinary man as bored as me. Doubt we want anything to do with this child. I see. Then we shall focus on the child instead. Breathe deeply and try to relax. This will take time. I will build a tent. You did a great job. A healthy baby girl. Just hear that cry. Warrior's lungs. <sighs> a girl? I have no knowledge of warriors or what to name them. How about your name, then? Little Eivor. Ermina? I've been looking everywhere. Brand told me you'd run off and I worried the worst. <gasps> Is that... Is that... 
This is your god lover? I expected more. God lover? Should I take that as a compliment on my prowess, or an insult to my name? Go, Marcus. Our families would never approve the Union. And if you're to have any reputation, you will forget me. I think I get to stay in that. I care not about status, and if all we have together is some hut in the woods, then so be it. A hut in the woods does sound fit for a witch and her babe. <laughs>